Alright guys, we're back with some coffee talk. Um, I'm excited to finish this game and see what's, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'. Hey. Alright, October 3rd. It's my doggie's birthday. Alright, notification first. As per usual, supermodel. We're still not good with Lua. Wonder why. Lucas, Riona, Amanda. We didn't get those good stories. Okay. Bailey's. Here's the wedding shit. Mr. Hyde. Alright. Silver. I think by the end of it, I'm in this industry for the love of it and to keep having fun in the mindset I will keep moving forward. Aqua, Myrtle, having someone you can connect with, especially within the same industry, is really something I'm glad for. Yep. Okay. Somehow this feels like deja vu. Every day feels like deja vu here. Hey! Welcome, Officer Georgie. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Yep, deja vu. What? Nothing. Everything is fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. That's good news. Sorry, my doggy's barking. <laughs> you know, this weather has kind of grown on me. Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have forever. Of course. But the thunder no longer sounds so angry to me. Interesting. What does it sound like to you? Um, no idea. Just not scary anymore anyway. I want to order something. Perfect. What would you like? Make me whatever I ordered a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, hmm? Yeah, give or take. You were promoting a new tea selection at the time? Good times. I remember it had like an interesting color. I'll take whatever you gave me that day. Okay, so it's either hibiscus or... Fuck. Blue pea. I don't remember what I made him. Did we make him one of these? Who did we make Wookie 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 for? Um, I, I don't know, that's not ringing at all. I feel like I didn't know. Yeah, we didn't make all these. I did not make him any of this, so I had to be Blue P. Was it Dreamin' Blue P? I don't think so. Got no. I'm gonna go with this. I could be very wrong, but... I'm gonna try. A couple of... I don't know what that word is for you, officer. What? It's what the drink... It's what makes the drink blue. What end up when you said it's what makes... Yeah. Oh, okay. Still tastes like grass. But my daughter told me this is really good for stress. Really? Are you stressed out right now? Nah, don't worry. Since my daughter loves it so much, I was just trying to remind myself of how it tastes. Oh, good. Well, usually blue pea is mixed with a bunch of other ingredients. It's a very forgiving drink taste-wise. And goes well with most things. And it looks pretty. Yeah, I can see that. Because it's tasteless except for the grassy notes when you drink it straight. Right on. Does this mean you've already made up with your daughter? Mm, more or less. That's great. How are you, officer? How's work? Work, huh? Well, it's only been a couple of days since I was here. But I admit, a lot has happened. Oh? Yeah, for starters. Word is spread that the parking on Bourne Street is no longer safe because of the vandalism. Yeah. And I really don't want it to escalate, you know? And I don't want the story of the street rewritten, rewritten into something bad. Makes sense. So what do you do? What well, makes you think I did anything? Just a guess. Well, you're not wrong. The day after our last talk, I paid the old gnomes a visit and had a chat with them. Oh, what did you talk about? Well, we talked about what could happen to them in the area due to the vandalism they committed. They were remorseful to a point because they're upset about what happened to the remains of their friend. Right. All they wanted was to create something memorable that would stay in everyone's mind in one way or another. Even in a bad way, that's what I thought they were, doing, were going for too. Turns out, that's not the case. They just wanted to create something memorable. 
something that gets everyone talking. But when I give them a hypothetical scenario with the rumors getting under control and how folks will spin the whole thing into something else, they were a bit stunned, honestly. Is it because they didn't think of the consequences that far ahead? That's right. I told them that it could potentially lead to the street being closed because it would be deemed unsafe. Um, sorry, I wasn't feeling that music. Or maybe even rebuilt into something completely different, which would effectively erase all trace of their friend. So they decided to stop right there, right then. Interesting. But you know, I got their need to keep the memory alive. But even when... But even if what they did was a bit misguided, I understood. Still, what they did was not the way to go about it. And honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. All this memory stuff shows that I, and the world, probably need to learn a lot more about fairy folk in general. I agree. So, what did you do next? Did you arrest them? <laughs> no. All I did that day was chat with them because I wanted a clearer picture on everything, including the old fairy market and all. I also shared the story about my grandpa. In the end, they said whatever I decide to do, they'll accept. So I went home. I see. You know, my daughter asked what happened. Now, since she gave me good advice on the case and everything, I told her the whole story about the streets, about the tree. Wow, that's really everything. <laughs> Anyhow, after our talk, I guess she started looking into the fairy folk history. And in one of those videos, she did, uh, I have no clue what to call them. They're videos of herself packing orders while talking about stuff. Ah, I see. I reposted on my Tamadacho a couple days ago. Ah, I see. She was able to talk to her viewers about what happened into the video. About your case? No, no. Only thing she learned on her own. Got it. That's great, though. You never know. Maybe the maybe through her video, curiosity will spread. Get everyone wondering about this piece of disappearing history. You're right. And who knows what the future holds. Oh, haven't seen him in a while. Lucas is in the house, yo. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? And you, Pops, how's it, how goes it? All good. You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyway, Pops, what's shaking? I think I should be the one asking you that. What's with all the excess energy? You're right, and I probably should explain, but first... Dear Nori, may I put in an order? You may. <laughs> I'd like a blue pea latte with super cool latte art on top. Blue pea latte. Blue pea milk and milk. Well, oh, hold on. We gotta dump all this milk in here. It's not even a lot of milk. This, I don't think it is. latte with the masterpiece on it for you sir masterpiece eh i like your confidence anyway cheers did he not like it nice thanks nori so what's up kid how's well pops i'm waiting for the lady to arrive oh so miss rana's coming yep she should be here soon the last couple of days have been really intense for us in fact i didn't sleep at all until last night oh why let's just say we've been busy cooking up stuff Test, test. What? What is it? I know you're a hustler, kid. Your schedule's probably not like everyone else's. I hope you won't drag others into your unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although I know next to nothing about Bianchi biology. Doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh? Sometimes she doesn't. Wait, sometimes she does deliveries until morning. Then never mind, kid. Forget what I said earlier. Phew! I was like, oh man, what stupid thing did I do this time? I was just pulling your leg. You both, you're both adults. So I was just playing around as the nosy and annoying old guy. Still, it's good that you guys are talking. Especially considering what happened the first time you two met. Yeah, no kidding. 
That's what I mean by doing stupid things too. Sometimes I don't slow down enough to see the forest for the trees, you know? And it happens. As long as you're aware of it and take a step back from time to time. Yep. Welcome, Miss Rana. Hello. Lady, finally you're here. Good evening, miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver something before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. <clears throat> I apologize. Nah, you're not late. I'm just early. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee sweetened with a lot of honey, if you would. Coffee, honey, and honey. That's what the directions were. I'm so sorry for my doggy. Honey coffee sounds kind of good. That's what I used to order back in the day. Really? So what's really been happening with you two? The kids sit up for days for something apparently. Does that include you as well? Yes, but those are just my regular working hours. See, see? And I thought we were doing, I thought we were done talking about it. Pops, what the heck? I'm not done playing the role of annoying and nosy old guy, that's all. Jeez. Anyway, the truth is, me and Elena have been discussing the show's format. Oh, how goes it so far? We're almost there, right? I think. Yes, we've been discussing it quite intensely the past couple of days. We're at a point where things are beginning to take a shape. But it's just not quite there. But almost. That's why I've been staying up late organizing all the ideas into a deck. We're making a new show proposal to pitch to my team. Are you two going to work together then? In a way, yes. It is my intention to act as Lucas's guide to the city, and I'm going to have him drive too sometimes. Yeah, I don't want him to always drive me around. But I might need some time to get used to driving again, is that okay? Of course. My suggestion would be for us to drive across the Evergreen Point Bridge. On days when there's less traffic, when the sun is out. They will make you feel good, and I'm sure of it. Okay, so let's do it. Anyway, so that's what's been happening. Meanwhile, I've been helping her find auditions. I wasn't aware there were so many ways to find audition leads online. You still have to vet them because there's so many things out there. But I'll help you with that, don't worry. Okay, well, all sounds, sounds good, y'all. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. <sighs> I think I might have to leave soon, huh? Why? I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning. It was a really busy day. Oh, word? Let's go then. Ah, you can stay. I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Nah, let's just go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. Ah, uh, you're right. Okay, if you're fine with it, I think it's time for us to go. I mean, for me. Roger that, let's get going then. See you later, Pops. Good luck with everything. You too. Bye, Nori. See you again soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So, just you and me now. Nothing wrong with that. I have to go soon though, duty calls. Sure. Well, I'll be. Hello, Nori. How are you? Freya. Hey, Miss Greenhair. Hey, officer. Long time no see. I heard you've been going around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much. I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you here, Freya. <laughs> well, as much as I'd like to say in chat, duty calls. Aw, that sucks. I missed you. Well, see you later then, Georgie. Yeah. Don't forget to tell Nora the truth, okay? Huh? Later, Nora. I will. Let me move over there. So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend, Nori, what's up? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Before you start blaming me, it was a last minute thing. You and I didn't know I would be back so soon. So what made you return sooner than expected? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Hey, do you remember my first order ever? Espresso? Yep, you have a good memory. The first time I was here, it was raining as hard as it is now, and I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. Your espresso was one of the best coffees I've ever had. Thank you. One espresso for me, please. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Here's 
you go, Freya. A cup of triple shot espresso for you. Great. Again, this deep aroma and such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, mind telling me why Officer Georgie said what he said? Which part? Something about telling me the truth? Ah, uh, well, about that. Okay. I'm leaving for a writer's residence soon, and it's really, really far away. What? I know, I know. It was impulsive, it was something I did in a whim. I know. Me and my old buddy sent the application form in, like, last month, not really expecting anything, but we got accepted, and somehow, it's for this year's rotation, which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? <laughs> of course not. How long is it going to be for? I don't know, probably a few months. Well, I might try to keep traveling after that. Okay. Nori? Are you sad? Nope. Don't be sad while I'm gone. Okay? I said I'm not sad. Duh. Anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time I've been gone. There should be a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? Oh, you have no idea. Spill it. Everything. Alright. So it started around two weeks ago. was working on her game with Myrtle while Myrtle helps from time to time. Okay. They're a good team. Yeah, okay. Silver and Amanda's trip took them quite a bit further than expected. And Pearl appears in a number of their selfies from London, Sydney, and the Mongolian Steppe. Steep? Step? I don't know what to say. Hyde's reputation as a dreamy, sensitive wedding photographer spread all around Seattle. And Gala is fond of qualifying him in those exact terms to Hyde's obvious displeasure. Lou and Bailey bought a little house with large windows and a small garden and an extra bedroom. Oh? Bailey's has been using it as a workspace, but it stands ready to fill a role of function when it's right. The Nico Shell X Army collaboration was a success as the new single was released on time. Even though the reviews are mixed, her true fans love it, and that's all that matters, she said. Sorry, I'm moving my chair. Ron and Lucas often come to the coffee shop after his driving lessons to discuss a variety of topics. Looks like they're taking it slow and planning things carefully as they match up their working schedules. Fortunately, the vandalism ended before the rumors could worsen. Sometimes, a lone officer can be placing flowers where the dead tree once stood. Georgie. Well, that's it, everybody. That's the end of Coffee Talk. Episode 2, Hibiscus and flower and Butterflies. I said flowers. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you for listening, and I'm glad we finished this up. And, you know, I'll catch y'all real soon.